Welcome to first part of our TIA Portal tutorial. We will show you all steps needed to install TIA Portal using a Portal version 20. However, all previous and future version will still apply, and if not, we will release update. You will learn basics of all programming languages used in TIA, basic bit instructions, timers, etc. Then we will write first program for conveyor control and later more advanced for lift application. We'll cover basic of safety programming and WinCC Unified HMI. Sorry is missing on that list. For testing, I will provide this simple model, which you can run on your Windows PC and connect to PLC. In today's video, we will install TIA Portal version 20, install it on Windows 11, and then just create our first devices. To download TIA Portal, use link in video description. Click on link for DVD1 setup. You will be asked to enter your login and password. If you don't have it, then you need to register with Siemens to get access to 21 day trial. Open downloaded file, run start.exe. This will initiate installation of the software. For our training, we will leave all default settings and click Next on every page of this wizard. Let's skip installation process. It took about 30 minutes to install, even though at the beginning progress bar showed 70 minutes. Now we need to restart PC. Double click TA Portal V20 icon to start program. By default, TIA wants to create blank project one. Click create button. Project opens in so-called Portal View, which provides you with a task-oriented view of the tools. We will switch to Project View. For all our tutorial, it is structured view of all components of the project. Let's add our first PLC. For example, I will pick S7 1500 series PLC. I got pop-up on the other screen. When you add device, which requires a license, you need to activate it from pop-up to get 21 days trial. I'll select firmware v4.0, which supports all new functions of TIA v20. Deactivate protection and secure PGPC communication. We do not need protection for our tutorial. Activate anonymous user. 
there are some settings we need to activate using its role. Click Finish, PLC is now added. Next is Unified for HMI. Select Unified Comfort Panel and V20 Firmware version. Again, we got pop-up asking to activate trial license. Once HMI is created, open Network View to see both devices. Last thing left is to connect them together. Simply click Connection tab and drag mouse from PLC to HMI. New HMI connection has been created. That's everything in this tutorial. Subscribe for more content and see you soon.